Hello guys, this is Shad. I am back again with iOS tutorials and today I am going to teach bar charts. I'm going to focus on writing task one and I am teaching bar charts. I want you to follow me. I'll be back shortly. <laughs> So welcome, welcome to this broadcast. So to, tonight I am teaching IELTS bar charts and I would like you to subscribe to this channel if you find this video very useful. So thanks to all of those of you who have, been, who have subscribed and who have been commenting, giving us good feedback about what um, we do. So thanks to all of you. Thanks to all of you. Now, I would like to uh, say that to pass the IELTS test is something which is possible. It is possible. You can pass the IELTS. You can pass the IELTS test. So I would like you to take that mindset that it is too difficult. So do not burden yourself with the thought that it is difficult. It is something you can pass. It is something you can pass. With determination, you can pass. So I would like you to share the broadcast. Share it now to, to and invite others to join us to learn. Invite others to join us to learn right now. And you can follow us on our Facebook page at IELTS um, Lessons. And you can also subscribe to this channel if you are the first time. This is the first time. You are watching or if you have not subscribed you can subscribe to the channel so thanks very much and um, i also like to um, say that again that i am teaching bar charts so i would like you to follow this tutorial keenly get your notepad ready and as we we learn so i am going to start to teach and I'm going to present a slide onto you and for your viewing and I want you to follow follow and this is going to help you to pass the test so thank you very much thanks very much so let me know where you are also watching from where are you watching from let me know where you are watching from so um, let's go straight to this the slides and let's have a look at what we have what i have for you so let's go back to the slides let's go back to the slides and have a look so as regards the slides if you can see the slide just put it in the comment section that you can see the slide if you can see it just put it in the comment section that you can see the slide let me know that you can see the slide. If you can see it, just let me know. Now, uh, this is a typical bar chart. This is a bar chart. And if you look at this bar chart, you see simply, you see bars. Uh, and in bar chart, you see bars. This bars. All right? But we are want to answer this question want to write a model sample answer bar charts are one of the common um, task one questions that you um, get in the ielts writing test so it is something that you cannot dodge they will definitely examine you on it and, um, and you must prepare for for this test you must prepare for this task task prepare for that task anything can come they can ask you to write bar chart so if you look at this graph you see you see that 
um, the statement says, the chart below, the chart shows the global sale of different kinds of digital games from 2000 to 2006. This is from 2000 to 2006. So this is the statement which has been given to you. But there is an instructive sentence here, which is summarize the information. So you are summarizing by selecting and reporting. So you are selecting and reporting what? The main features and then make comparisons where relevant. So you are writing a summary. You are selecting making you are selecting and reporting the main features and then you make comparisons where relevant. Where relevant. I got it. So when you look at this, this one that the one that I've highlighted in green, that is the question which has been given to you. Okay. The rest is an instructive sentence. The one in yellow, that is an instructive sentence. So the chart below shows the global sales of different kinds of digital games from 2000 to 2006. How do we write this essay? So let me remove the highlight. Let me remove the highlight and then we go straight to answer the question. How do you answer this question? To be able to answer this question, you first have to learn bar chart language. Learn bar chart language. And the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to do that video. Learn bar chart language. So you should be able to understand what a bar chart is and how to report this. But today I just want to focus on helping you to learn how to answer set type of questions. So have a look at the bar chart. See, you can see many charts or many bars. You see many bars on it. All right. So you see this handheld games. This one's the tallest bars. They are the handheld games, the key. So when you look at the graph, you will see a key. You key. See, this blue one is mobile phone games. The green one is online games. The, uh, you, should I say, the uh, yellow one, yellow one is the console games. And then the orange color is the handheld games. Now, you also see on the vertically, you see dollar sign in billions. And then you see the period, 2000 to 2006. This tells me that this graph is a dynamic graph. It's a dynamic graph in the sense that it changes over time. It changes over time. So if it changes over time, then we have to use language of change. If it is a dynamic graph, it means that it changes over time. So you use language of change. For example, like increase, decrease, you see, like that. Fluctuations, like that. So this is a language of change. If the graph does not change and it's a static graph, static graph in the sense that it does not change over time, then that one, you don't use language of change. Now, how do you answer this question? So as I said, look at the key to be able to have an understanding of that. Look at the unit. What is it? The unit is billions of dollars. And then the period, this is from 2000 to 2006. Then look at the individual games, handheld games. Handheld games, the orange ones. You can see they are very tall. Look at the yellow ones, which are the console games. Console games. Gradually. Okay, I can see that. I can see a trend there. This one to the... Handheld games too, I can see a trend. The blue ones too, I can also see a trend. The green one too, I can also see a, a trend. So let's go into the planning. With the planning, you have to group your main features. Group main features. And how do you group your main features? You see, you are going to have um, report the main features. So if you are going to report the main features, 
then you have to group those main features. Where are those main features? These are the four main games, and these are the, the four digital games, and these are the main features. So you have to group the main features and report, and write that report. So one trick is to group similar features. Group similar features. And then deliberately group con uh, group contrasting features just for the purpose of comparisons and contrasting. You have to deliberately decide to group some in such a way that you can be able to make comparisons and contrasting. So let's look at some of the uh, contrasting uh, information that we can uh, do or we can group. So when we look at some of the contrasting features, if you look at this, we see handheld games and console games. Handheld games and console games. So look at console games. These are console games, the yellow ones. Look at the nature of the yellow ones. From 2001, it started declining. It declined year on year to 2006. So it is declining. Now, when you come to the handheld games, these are the tallest bars, the, the orange color. Look at it. From 2000, it increases, increasing up to 2006. And they are the tallest bars. So while handheld games, their sales are increasing, that of uh, console games were declining, declining throughout the whole period. So these are groups of bar, uh, uh, features we can group together just for the purpose of comparing and contrasting. Then the next one is, um, so handheld games, you see that it increases year on, it experiences a year on year increase in sales. Console games yearly decline, okay? Yearly decline, decline in sales over the, uh, it, this is in, not in use, in, in, in sales over the, over the years, all right? Now, then for similar trends, online games and mobile phones, Online games and mobile phones. So I'll group blue and green together because they have similar trends. Both of them were increasing, but they, their sales were not as significant as the as high as the uh, handheld games. All right. So they are similar. So I put them together. So group similar features and then. Group some of them in such a way that you can be able. It will be easy for you to make comparisons and contrasting. Then, um, how many paragraphs should you write? You should be able to have a plan of how many paragraphs you want to write. And for those paragraphs you want to write, you have to make a plan. So how many paragraphs are we writing? We are writing four paragraphs. How many paragraphs? Four paragraphs. What will go into this paragraph? The first paragraph is going to be an introduction. The second paragraph will be an overview. And then the following two paragraphs will be the two body paragraphs. So this is where you select and report the main features. You report handheld games and console handheld games and console in one paragraph. Okay, so let me use green to highlight that. Handheld games and console in body paragraph three, and then, uh, sorry, paragraph three, let me put it that way, and then the, and then the, the online games and mobile phones in another paragraph. So that will be in the last paragraph. So you have four paragraphs. Four paragraphs. Now, so that is the way you are going to arrange your essay. Or that's the way you are going to arrange your report. If that is the way you are going to arrange your report, then let's see uh, how we can, other, other factors we have to consider. You see that the graph changes over time. And it is in the past, 2000, 2006. It is in the past. 
So what tense are we going to use? It's going to be past tense. Past tense. Our tense is going to be in the past. Is that all right? Then, because it changes over time, we are also going to use language of change. Then, we are also going to use comparative structures. Because don't forget that the instructive sentence that make comparisons where relevant. Make comparisons where relevant. So, if make comparisons where relevant, then... Where you think it is relevant, you have to make comparisons. But you definitely have to make some comparisons. If you write this essay without making some comparisons, that will be inadequate. So you have to finish this essay well. You have to write it well. It must have some comparisons. Let's continue. So how many words are we writing? You are writing... 150 words minimum in the writing task one. 150 words minimum. So if you are writing 150 words minimum, then there must be a way of answering this question. You shouldn't write plenty. Target writing between 150 even to about 200. That's okay. That's okay. Is that all right? Now, your time management, you have to plan. As you are planning, you have to plan. How many minutes do you want to plan? How many minutes do you want to finish? In some five minutes, you should finish planning. Then you should finish writing in some 15 minutes. So if you plan well, you can be able to finish writing in 10 minutes. So you have some five minutes to go through your essay. Now, Having done this, then what is the next step? You have to now come to answer the question. So come back to the, to the instructive sentence once again. Let me use this color pink to represent it now. So it says that the chart below shows, the chart shows the global sale of different kinds of digital games from 2000 to 2006. So you have to now think about synonyms of this the keywords in this sentence. What does the word shows mean? What synonym will you use to repl replace that? So in writing task one, you can use words like illustrate, compares, delineates, displays, these are words that you can use in place of shows. Now, global, what is the synonym for global? It can be worldwide. It can even be globally. Sales, if you don't know the synonym for sales, don't worry yourself. In fact, you can even maintain some of the key words there. So different kinds of digital games, you have to find synonyms for all these words. From 2000 to 2006, in what other way can you say it? Maybe if between 2000 to 2006. All right? Now, so you have to be thinking about the synonyms of the keywords. So having that, this understanding, the first part is you write the introduction. And this whole paragraph is the introduction. This is the introduction. So if this is the introduction, then if this is the introduction, then how do you go about writing this whole introduction? To write the introduction, you have to paraphrase the instructive sentence which has been given to the, the background statement given. This is the background statement given. This one. This is the background statement. Say it in other way, which means the same. Or write it in other way, which means the same. Paraphrase it. So how do you paraphrase it? In paraphrasing it, you have to add the unit of measurement and then the period. Unit of measurement and then the period. You have to include it in 
in writing the introduction. So, this is a bar chart. But here it says the chart. So, you have to give it a specific name. Be specific about what type of chart it is. What type of chart is that? So, this is a bar chart. If this is a bar chart, you have to give it a specific name. This is a bar chart. The bar chart. If it's a pie chart, you say the pie chart. Maybe I didn't state it in the introductory sentence or the sentence, the statement given. It wasn't stated that it was a bar chart, but you have to be specific that this is a bar chart. So the bar chart. So the bar chart illustrates worldwide sales of four categories of digital games. So the four categories of digital games, you have to put it in, in the introduction. So we have the key, mobile phones, online games, console games, and handheld games. So you put it there. So you are paraphrasing. The bar chart illustrates. Remember, it is just one bar chart. So it illustrates, singular, worldwide sales of four categories of digital games. How many did I, I counted them and they, I know they are four. So I say four categories of digital games into bracket mobile phone games, online games, console games, handheld games, bracket close. Between 2000 and 2006 in billions of dollars. So I've I added the unit of measurement. The unit of measurement, I've added it. Now, so I hope you are following. I hope you are following. If you are following, just let me know that you are following. So, now, so, then, the next step is to write the overview. So, you have written the, the, the introduction. You have written the introduction. The your introduction should contain your main features. If there's a period, you have to add it. If there's a unit of measurement, you have to add it. If, if there is, you have to add it. So paraphrase it. After paraphrasing, ask yourself, does it mean the same as has been given? All right? In introduction, do not add your interpretation. Do not, what you, do not add what you think. Do not write your opinion. This is not writing task 2 essay. So do not write your opinion. Do not write what you think. In fact, in the whole of writing task one essay, including bar chart, do not write what you think. Do not write your interpretation. Report it as you see it, just as it is. Report it. Report what you see. So the next step is to go to the overview. The overview, this is where you write the most significant information that you see. At a glance. What do you see at a glance? What do you see at a glance? Go back to the graph and look at it. At a glance, what do you see? And this should be part of your planning. You, you must know what the, your overview, what you see at a glance. So that when you start writing, it will be easy for you. You are just copying. But at a glance, what do you see? At least we can see handheld games, which are the orange color all right that deep orange color we can say this ones are the tallest so you can say the sales where the ink was the highest let me put it that way now however the sales of uh, for console games declined throughout the period it for that of console games it was the highest but it increased year on year However, that of console games declined throughout the period. Then, how about the rest? For the rest, they had similar sales. You can say they increased, but a similar sales. It covers everything. It covers everything. Is somebody following this? If you are following this, just let me know that you are following if you are following it, just let me know that you are following. Now, so 
we see the overview. So how do you report it? You start by using the word overall. Overall. Start by using the word overall. And overall speaks of overview. So do not use the word in general. It is commonly used by many candidates. They usually use in general. Do not write in general. I would say write overall. Overall is better than in general. All right? They don't want a rehearsed essay. What would you like to know about Esther Essie? Now, so overall, you are going to write the overview, what you see at a glance. So overall, from 2000 to 2006, the sale of handheld games boomed with tremendous year-on-year -year increase compared to the other electronic games. So you see that even in my overview, I'm making comparisons using the word compared, using that phrase, compared to the other electronic games. So it boomed with tremendous year-on-year -year increase compared to the other electronic games. However, I'm still contrasting. I'm contrasting here. However, console games saw a, saw a yearly decline in sale throughout the period. So that is exactly what I said. So we start by using the word overall. Overall. So what are the key features you see in the overview? We see the phrase overall to indicate that we are writing an overview. And you must, if it has, if the graph occurs in a particular period, then you must add it like 2000 to 2006. You must add the period if it changes over time. If it doesn't change over time, don't worry yourself to add a period. Now, the main thing that you see at a glance, that is what you should focus on. The rest, use a general generalized language to describe it. For example, handheld games boom through with tremendous year-on-year -year increase compared to the other electronic games. So there's no point for me to go and list the other electronic games. Then, another thing that I want to highlight is that is that console games saw a yearly decline in sale throughout the period. So I'm making a cont cont a cont I'm contrasting. So these are the two significant things that are that is said, uh, that I can highlight. The rest they are not really important. Now, so having written the overview, then you go you step forward and begin to write the first uh, body paragraph. You report the, based on the way you have grouped it, handheld games and console games. That is what you have, this is where you report data in, report the main features in detail. R don't forget that in the, in the overview, you're not supposed to add details of the specific amount. For example, like here, uh, let's say almost 6 billion. Here, almost 6 billion. You don't write those ones. It is in the main body paragraph that you begin to report the specific numbers. So we focus on the this one, handheld games and the and the console games. So if you look at the handheld games, how do you report it? You can say in the year 2000. So I'm starting from the first year, the year 2000. All right. So I'm focusing on handheld games first. In the year 2000, what was the amount? So here you can use approximations to describe the specific amount. You can use approximations. So we start... I start by saying that in the year 2000, an approximate $11 billion of handheld games were sold 
across the globe. And by the end of 2001, sales had risen. You see, not has risen. Sales had risen slightly to around $13 billion. So let's look at it. 2000, approximately $11 billion. So we are making an, uh, an approximation. An approximate. So I use the noun form of approximate. Say so an approximate 11 billion. Right? Then by 2001, we can say this was slightly, you can even say slightly above 12 billion. Or you can even say approximately or nearly 13 billion. All right? Now, so around 13 billion and continue to experience a steady year-on-year -year rises to nearly 19 billion in 2006. So having talked about first year and second year, there's no need to talk about 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005. You have to use a general language to report from 2002 up to 2006. So here I say it experienced a yearly a, a yearly increase or year-on-year -year increase. Two, this is what? 18, isn't it? So this is 18, almost 18. All right. So here, when I was typing, I think I made a mistake there and I wrote 19. So this will be nearly 18 billion. Nearly 18 billion in 2006. Right now, you have reported the first one, then you go to the second one because you are making a con, con a contrast, you are contrasting or you are comparing. So, so you use a contrast marker or contrast linker by saying that in contrast, the sale of console games stood at approximately six billion in 2006, and sales had almost halved in 2006. So look at console games. This is console games. It stood the sales stood at almost six billion in two thousand, and by the end of two thousand and six, it had declined yearly. And what was it? It has declined by half. So you say that it had halved. So there's no need for me to talk about two thousand and one, two thousand and two, two thousand and three, two thousand and four, two thousand and five, and come two thousand and six. No. I'm using a general language to report the, the trend, what has happened across these years. Because you are summarizing. You are summarizing. Now, so that two features are covered. They are covered. Now, the next one, uh, or the next one is... This one, online games and mobile phone games. So the blue and the green. We're going to focus on the blue and the green. But if you look at 2000, you see that there was no blue and green. That means that there was no sales in that year. However, when you switch to 2000 and 2001, you see only green. But you don't see blue there. You don't see blue there. Isn't it? You only see green, but you don't see blue in 2001. So these are important things you have to report. So now we say turning to the mobile phones and online games. So I will just want the examiner to know that that's, this, these are the two things I'm going to talk about. There was no sale. Of both in 2000 in 2000, you see. For both, there was no sales in 2000. So it's very important. You have to capture that. However, even though there was no sale of mobile phone games in 2001, as little as about $1 billion of online games were sold, were sold out to nations. And same sales, into bracket, nearly $2 billion was recorded in 2002 and about four billion in two thousand and six, uh, two thousand and four. Sorry. So if you look at this, let me let's go to the graph so that you understand it clearly. 
In 2000, there was no sale for both. Now, in 2001, it was only online games that had sales. And that was about 1 billion. So you are making it, you are approximating it. But for that of mobile phones, nothing was sold. However, in 2002, you see that these two, had the, the, their bars are equal. So you can say similar sales. Let's say, let's say 2 billion. If you come to 2004, that, two, that one too, the bars are equal. So you can say similar sales were recorded in 2002 and 2004. But you can put the specific figures there. So here we can say 2002, you can say approximately 2 billion. And here we can say approximately, let's say, 4 billion in 2004. All right. Now, because, of, because we are making comparisons, that's where I am looking at 2004 and 2002. 2004 and 2002. I'm reporting similar features. Okay, just for the purpose of comparisons. Now, we go to the next one. So you see that here I've put it in, I put everything in bracket, nearly two billion dollars, and then that of 2004. Uh, so nearly two billion dollars was recorded in 2002, and about four billion in 2004. Okay, in, now, how about the rest? Sales for both games remained below six billion until 2006, when sales passed six billion dollars to approximately 11 billion for mobile phone games, and online games overtook mobile phone games at nearly 10 billion. So when you go to the graph, you understand what I'm trying to say. Now, when you look at the graph, you realize that you see for both the blue one and the green one, which is mobile phone and online games. You realize that if you look at their sales, look at the bar, 6 billion, they were, their, their sales were still below 6 billion up to 2005. They were still below five, uh, 6 billion with, in, up to 2005. However, after in 2006, the sales of uh, online games overtook mobile phones in 2006. That is all we are trying to say. Now, why didn't I report 2003, 2005 separately? There's no point to do that. I have to use a general general language to report every, all that. You must learn to ignore irrelevant information or irrelevant Yes, let me put it that way. Irrelevant information. So use general language to report some of them. And it saves you the time because you are writing a summary. And as a summary, you don't have to write plenty. So here, I've used a general language to report that where all their sales were below 6 billion up to 2006. And then uh, up to 2005, sorry. And then in 2006, sales had overtaken, uh, sales, sales of online games had overtaken mobile phone games. At, then you quote their figures. So here, how much will you quantify it? So let's see what I put there. Let's say around 10 billion and 8 billion, respectively. $8 billion and $10 billion, respectively. So if you are watching, I want you to add dollars here. Dollars, dollars, add the units. Billion it is in unit is the unit is in what dollars. So this is the dollar sign. Billion B N means dollars. B N means billion, and then the dollar symbol is there. So this is how you report a bar chart. In this bar chart, this is a dynamic graph. So it changes over time. It changes over time. So I use language of change. I Make sure that my tense was right. So I use the past tense because 2000, and 2000, 2006 is in the past. If the graph is in the future, use future. If 
it is ne- there's no period attached to it, then use the present tense. So I ensured that I made comparisons. And how, how did I demonstrate comparisons? So let's see that. Uh, so how did I demonstrate comparisons? So I'm going to take all these things off and then uh, take highlight the comparisons. So compared to, by using these phrases, compared to, contrasting, however, see, so I'm making comparisons. Uh, I'm contrasting. So in contrast, see in contrast here. Then uh, I'm trying to compare. So you see, turning to these two, then I'm still contrasting here once again. So as little as is a good uh, structure. So I'm making comparisons. Okay. I am making comparisons. So even though is a good structure you can use. Even though. Sales for board games remained below 6 billion. I'm making some comparisons. So make comparisons where relevant. Make comparisons where relevant. They are important. All right? So this is how you report bar chart. So learn the language of change. Learn the language of change. Learn bar chart language. How to compare. How to contrast. Okay? If it is in percentage, how do you report percentages? Learn bar chart um, language structures like compared to, um, as opposed to, even though they are very important. Learn them. Learn how to compare graphs. Learn how to compare graphs, and that is going to help you. In fact, most people become confused when they see bar charts and when they see graphs like this because they see so many things at the same time. You have to focus on one thing at a time, one feature at a time. Handheld games. So handheld games, What? how do the, the bars look like? So tallest bars and smallest bars, focus on that. Very important. The medium ones, focus on that. So for the purpose of comparison, I'm comparing tallest it is very it is important to compare tallest to the smallest. And then those that are increasing to those that are decreasing for the purposes of contrasting. It's important to do it that way. And then you group those ones that are increasing and then you report them together. That is the way you report the bar chart. That is the way it should be done. So, guys, this is how you report a bar chart. If you have any question, put it in the comment section and I'm going to stay I'm going to be here for a short time and answer your questions if you have a question. So if this video is useful to you, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button and share as well. If today is the first time you are watching and it is useful to you, hit the subscribe button. I will be bringing you more videos, more tutorials on the IELTS writing. IELTS writing task 1, IELTS writing task 2, reading, speaking, listening. So I'm going to do all that. Already I have um, quite a lot of videos already on this channel. You can go to the channel and then watch them. They will help you a lot. They will really help you a lot. So go there and watch. They will help you a lot. So thanks very much. And uh, as I said, if you have any question, feel free to put it in the comment section. I will answer your question. So thanks very much. Thanks very much. 
and uh, give me feedback as well. As you watch the video, give me a feedback. So this is Shad signing out.